shortly. Money Basics Hi everyone, it's Christina from Smartly, and I'm so excited to share with you one of my favorite tools in personal finance. This three-part mini-class is going to get a little technical on you, but this topic is so important, and if you can use it correctly, it will make every financial decision easier. Let's dive right in and start learning about the time value of money. The broad definition of the time value of money states that a dollar today is worth more than a dollar in the future. It also says that a dollar in the past was worth more than a dollar today. This book ain't worth a hoot. This is for two reasons. We're going to tackle the first in this video. Inflation. In our expanding economy, the cost of goods and services increases over time. And the average annual increase viewed on a macro scale is called inflation. I'm not going to get into the economic mechanics of inflation right now, because it's a real snoozer. But just know this, it's a reality, and historically the average annual rate of inflation has been about 3%. As much of a bummer as this is, many economists actually believe that average inflation is a good sign that the economy is healthy. Yay, inflation! We all remember when things were cheaper. Back in my day, a cup of coffee cost a nickel. That's not just a natural tendency for people to become cranky and crotchety over time. That's inflation talking. If today, $5 for a cup of coffee feels about right, just wait a few years. You'll find you're also speaking with the voice of inflation. Back in my day, a cup of coffee cost $5. Here's an example. If the cost of a half gallon of milk today is $2.43, a similar half gallon of milk will likely cost $2.50 in one year with average inflation. What's the big deal? Who needs to sweat seven cents, right? Wrong. That 3% decrease in buying power per year means that in six years, the same amount of milk will cost 20% more. And in 10 years, the cost will rise 40% when compared with today. In just over 23 years, you'll need twice as much money to buy the same amount of milk as you do today or you'll be stuck buying half as much. Do you think in 23 years we'll be satisfied with half the milk? Not likely. This issue is so important for artists because many of us are subject to the changing cost of materials, rental space, manufacturing services, and a million other expenses we're managing on our own. More often than not, we're self-employed, so there's no one offering up annual cost of living increases to our income. When we start out, it's not unusual to make our art practices work by just getting by. But after a few years, what was just getting by may no longer make ends meet. So how do we keep up? I'll get into that in the next video. Smartly, art plus personal finance. Sign up for updates at www.sm-artly.com.